Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. My name is Emily. So today we are going to be talking about some of the ways to make me instantly want to read a book or ways to instantly make me not want to read a book. So we are going to go ahead and get right into it. Honey? Honey? All right, so we're gonna start with the positive, ways to make me really want to read a book right away. And the first one, if you have ever read a book review written by me or ever talked to me about books at all in general, you will know is a story is told through multiple perspectives or multiple timelines or both. I absolutely love this. Whether it is alternating between uh, different characters narrating different chapters, or I've read books where it's in chunks, like the first third is told by one character, the second third is told by another character, and the third third is told by a third character, obviously, right? Books like that, or if it's telling uh, from the same character, but uh, alternating between the present, the present time and then the past, anything like that, I will absolutely love it. And it gives me it's an instant boost in how much I'm going to enjoy that book. I think it really helps keep you guessing as a reader and just makes it so much more exciting. The second reason I will instantly read a book is uh, kind of similar, and this is starting at the end of the story. So I think, again, this really helps to build suspense and makes it super exciting. Um, the first book that came to mind when I thought about this was Big Little Lies. So if you've ever read Big Little Lies, you know, you know at the beginning that something has happened, something big, but you're not exactly sure what. You think somebody's died, but you don't know like why or even who. And then throughout the story, you are really bonding with the different characters, being introduced to them, but all the while you know that somebody is going to die at the end of the book, but you don't know who. So I love books that start at the end and then kind of wind their way back. I think it's super interesting. Another one is All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. And I liked that book. It wasn't a five-star read for me, but it was really enjoyable. And that book is completely told backwards, which is really different and super interesting. I love the way Megan Miranda plays with time in general. It really elevates her, book in my, her books in my opinion. But in general, starting at the end of a story is a great way to suck me in right away. So the third way to get me to pick up your book right away is genre mixing. I love books that are hard to classify in a specific genre. So whether that is like a sci-fi thriller or my very favorite book of all time, A Swiftly Tilting Planet, which is like political thriller, sci-fi, fantasy, adventure, like so impossible to categorize. I love books that have elements of a lot of different genres. I think my favorite genres to mix are usually thriller, sci-fi, and like political thriller. I really enjoy when those things get mixed up together. I think it gives the stories an extra depth, more layers. It's super interesting and it really makes me want to read them. So another reason that I will be instantly drawn to a book is people saying that it's underrated. And I know that's so simple and so silly, but if I hear somebody that I like and I know that I enjoy their book opinions and I respect their recommendations, if I hear them say, oh my gosh, this book is so underrated, people need to read it, I'm so much more likely to pick it up. So I've read a lot of really hyped up books and enjoyed them, but if somebody's like, you've never heard of this book, but I'm obsessed with it, I'm way more likely to check that book out than if it's something that I've heard of before. And the last way to make sure that I will pick that book up off the top of my list is to have the trope of kids saving the world or kids outsmarting grown-ups. So I read a lot of middle grade, not just because I teach elementary school, but also I just really enjoy middle grade stories. I think they really focus on the meat of the story, the adventure, the plot, which is what I really like. And don't, you know, spend too much time on all that stuff I don't enjoy as much but middle grade books especially that involve kids having to save the world, kids being the only ones who can do it, you can't count on the grown-ups, the kids have to be resourceful and adventurous and do it themselves. I love books like that. All right, so now that we've talked about a few of the reasons that I will pick a book up right away and probably really enjoy it, let's talk about a few things that will turn me off from a book. Maybe put it at the bottom of my stack, not put it on my want to read list, just reasons why I might not enjoy a book, I might not even pick it up. So the first one is definitely a result of being burnt out of YA 
fiction when I was a teenager and that is love triangles or even just romance as a major plot point. And I'm not talking about with actual romance novels, you know, if you're going into it knowing the whole point of this genre is that there's going to be a love story, like everybody loves a rom-com, right? I'm not against that, but if it's supposed to be like a sci-fi thriller, but something on the back um, summary is talking about how you know the heroine has to decide between these two guys vying for her love all while she has to save the world that is like I'm gonna put that book back on the shelf and not read it like I'm so over that I feel like I was really into it as a teenager as a lot of people were it was very popular especially from Hunger Games I feel like Divergent had that a lot of those books that were really popular then but I just am, have been over that trope for so long that if I even see in a book summary that there's going to be a major romantic subplot, I'm probably not even going to pick that book up. So another reason why I might not pick up a book is if it is described as or really seems like it's going to be character driven instead of plot driven. So this is the one that has the most caveats and I have read and loved a number of really character driven novels but I am so much more of a plot person and I really love an exciting story. But if it's gonna be kind of, I, a lot of things that are described as contemporary fiction or literary fiction, I feel like are this way, where the focus is much more on the characters and you know their day-to-day -day life. I don't love slice of life type books and I don't love character driven novels if there's not at least an underpinning of a thriller or a sci-fi or some other kind of mixed in genre if it's just gonna be about a regular person living their regular life like I do that every day right I read books for a little more excitement and if it seems like it's gonna be like that I'm probably not gonna pick that book up right away and lastly another trope I am so over is the unreliable alcoholic female main character I've read a number of like domestic thrillers that fall in that category and I've enjoyed them but I just feel like so many books fall into that category and I am I'm sick of it I, that's another way to make me not want to pick up a book because I just am gonna feel like it's overdone overused and too much of a trope for me to really enjoy so this was a pretty quick video but I really wanted to share some of the ways that I make snap judgments about books so everybody says don't judge a book by its cover right but how else are you gonna judge a book how else are you gonna decide right there are thousands of books in the world millions of books in the world how do you decide what to read and for me those are some reasons why I will instantly pick up a book and really want to read it or put the book back on the shelf and decide it's not worth my time before I've even read it. So my mind can always be changed and there's exceptions to all of these rules, but those are kind of some of the ways that I will make a snap decision about whether or not to read a book. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love it if you could leave a comment down below about ways that you decide whether or not to read a book, if there's tropes that you absolutely hate or tropes that you really love that you will keep coming back to no matter how overused they are, please comment down below. I would love to have that discussion. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I make book videos every Tuesday and beauty videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.